What's going on, guys? Rough, rough day in baseball today. Uh, first off, I want to start off by giving my condolences to uh, both the Weaver and Musial family. It was a, a, a terrible day for the game of Major League Baseball. Yesterday, uh, Earl Weaver died, but the news broke today. And about 10 minutes ago, 10, 15 minutes ago, uh, Stan Musial uh, died at the age of 93. Both guys were really old. Earl Weaver was 82, lived really full lives. But, you know, when you have names like an Earl Weaver or especially Stan Musial, a name like Stan Musial, you know, you hear that they finally passed on and died. It's it's hard for any single baseball fan that truly cares about the game to hear about something like that. Um, I myself, I'm I'm a big I love old baseball. I mean, I absolutely love old baseball. My my favorite kind, you know, stuff to learn about is baseball from the 40s, 50s, and 60s. You know, that's I consider the golden age of baseball. I I just give anything to go back and watch guys like Ernie Banks and Ted Klazuski and Frank Roberts and Mickey Mantle. You know, uh, Joe DiMaggio, Dizzy Dean, all those guys. Just go back, just go back and see them, and. To hear someone that I was one of my all-time favorite players, Stan Musial, died, and Earl Weaver. Earl Weaver was, you could go on YouTube and type in Earl Weaver's name and just find hysterical clips of this guy. I mean, he was a dude that just said straight up, you know, he didn't care. He just said his opinion. He was very vocal, but he was very effective at the same time. Uh, Weaver won four pennants, uh, including one World Series title in 1970. Uh, he should have won a couple more, you know, 69, the Miracle Mets beat him, and then uh, in 71, the Pirates won, uh, in 79, the uh, I think the Pirates won again, beat uh, the Orioles, but, you know, the man amassed two, 2, uh, 2,500 victories, you know, a Hall of Fame resume, managed for 18 seasons. I mean, he was he was a legend, just an absolute legend with uh, the Orioles. I mean, I can only imagine if I was an Oriole fan how I would be feeling, you know, losing someone as big to the franchise as uh, Earl Weaver was, uh, you know, just spanned so many decades of uh, his career in baseball, you know, spanned so many decades. He was just, he was such, a, he was a great coach, you know, manager, you know, you hear your guys talk today, managers, you know, when they refer to old guys, you know, they watched growing up to, to base their playing managing style off of, I should say. And Earl Weaver is one of the first names that's always brought up. And you know, I I loved Earl Weaver just simply for He was hilarious. I mean, like I said, go search on YouTube. Some of the, this, the clips, man, he would just tell people just straight up. He didn't care. He was just going to straight up tell you. And that's why one thing I loved about Earl Weaver so much Stan Musial, you know, what more can you say about this man? Uh, I th he had a plethora of all-star appearances, I think 19 or 20 all-star appearances. A career 331 hitter, you know, he had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven batting titles, you know, and he had 475 home runs, and he lost a year to the war, and he averaged 25 homers a year. So he probably would have had 500 homers, uh, you know, 3,600 hits, and he lost a year, year's time, so he probably would have had close to 3,800 hits. And there's a really cool stat about Stan Musial. His home and away hits, he has 1,815 hits at home, 1,815 hits on, uh, on the road. I, You know, what a quirky stat to have, but such an awesome stat at the same time. The man just hit anywhere. You know, he had an unorthodox batting stance, but he just got it done with the power, with, you know, anywhere. He just, the man could just hit. You know, when he retired, I believe he was the uh, all-time hit king for uh, the NL when he retired. You know, of course, Pete Rose broke that later. Uh, you know, he, I think he was the highest, had the highest average for a left-hander when he retired. Uh, he had a lot of records in the NL. I know that set for sure for RBIs and everything else like that. I, if they've been broken since, I'm not sure. But, you know, the the dude, when, you know, someday if, if I have kids and 
you know, they asked me about baseball and everything. If Stan Musial, when you tell someone about baseball, is not one of the five names that comes out of your mouth, it's, it's a damn shame because Stan Musial is one of the greatest players of all time. And it's sad to see that he's gone, but, you know, the guy was, he was 93 and he was old and, you know, it just happens. So it's, it's a deep, deeply saddened day for baseball, you know, lose two Hall of Famers, two legends. And, you know, I just wanted to give my thoughts and my condolences to all their families. And, you know, like I said, I, I, I didn't know him on a per I don't know any of them on a personal level, even meet them ever. But just being as big a baseball fan as I am and, and just, you, you know, all the history about the game and how much they affected and changed it, it's it's a big day in, in baseball. And to lose two guys like that, is, it's just it just sucks. So that's all I got for you guys today. Like I said, my condolences go out to those guys and hopefully they're playing the, the big baseball game in the sky. So have a good one, guys.